Hi guys and welcome to my very first video in English. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a plastic patch on a shirt. So today I'm going to show you how to fix a patch on a football shirt. So I want to give you my tips that kind of differ from what you can see online on YouTube basically. Um, to improve the way you repair your printings and your patches. So let's start with this shirt. So in French I did the same thing with the home shirt from last, from this year, sorry. Uh, it's a match worn Stade Malherbe Camp uh, shirt from 2004-2005. Um, so this is the away shirt and back then uh, from 2003 to 2005 in both Ligue 1 and Ligue 2 patches were a thick plastic thing as you can see here and the big problem was that it could really peel off easily uh, in the wash uh, especially for clubs like Caen players didn't have a shirt per match they had to use the same shirt for several matches so um, over time the patches tend to um, peel off so what I'm going to show you today is how you can fix this uh, properly and easily with just uh, your iron so I didn't do it on purpose but the colors of the iron actually match the shirt so <laughs> it's funny um, so what you are advised to do usually on YouTube is to use an iron board um, to fix either your printings and your patches uh, it's not a bad thing at all but I do prefer so first tip I do prefer using rough support so here um, you can see you can use uh, any kind of table or whatever uh, and cover it with a towel so second things what you are usually supposed to do is to use baking sheets cover your printings with your baking sheet and iron it uh, what i prefer to do uh, for patches that are this thick is actually to put my shirt inside out because this way your iron will go directly onto the glue that's under the patch uh, your patch will not melt okay and it will be easier to fix your shirt without marking it so here you go you see the patch here uh, another tip so what you would usually do with this kind of shirt is that you would put your shirt onto your iron board onto the tip um, what I advise you to do is rather use a, a, another rough support so here I'm taking dictionary and a rough support that the, the size of which corresponds to uh, what you are trying to do so if you're trying to fix a back printing a big book like this would be better but here for a sleeve patch uh, on a size double XL, a dictionary, mini dictionary is, is gonna be is gonna be fine. So there you go. And I do use not only one baking sheet but two baking sheets. I am going to place a baking sheet under the patch. Okay. There you go. And I'm gonna slip my dictionary in this way. So make sure that the paper and dictionary cover the whole surface here. I think we're good. The reason why I do that is because I really don't want my patch to get stuck with the dictionary that's underneath. Um, and I really don't want the colors of the dictionary to uh, kind of, you know, get stuck in the fabric. And I'm gonna use my other baking sheet here. 
of the baking sheet that is supposed to uh, cover the fabric itself. You notice that I don't use a baking sheet like this, I fold it twice. The reason why I do this is because I don't want my iron to leave any mark on my shirt. Um, so I'm talking experience here, it happened in the past. Uh, it's quite frustrating when you manage to succeed in repairing uh, printing or printing and actually leave iron marks. Um, this way with a double fold, what you are going to optimize is the heat of the iron. The heat of the iron will actually melt the glue without melting the plastic and without leaving any mark on your shirt. So you notice that on the iron I always start with a low temperature and if it doesn't work I turn the heat up. Um, this way I will adjust progressively the temperature to the nature of what I'm going to do. Um, and I don't use water in the uh, iron um, because I don't want any steam to actually unstuck anything. Um, my goal here, as you can see, is trying to reproduce uh, as much as possible the effect of a heat press. Uh, I don't own a heat press, but you know, rough surface, double protection, uh, and low temperature to begin with in order to leave no mark like a heat press would do. So, uh, enough talking, let's start trying to repair the patch. I'll be extra careful because the area logo here is actually heat printed too, uh, so I really don't want it to get stuck either. Uh, okay, now let's go. So I, this one is really in a bad condition, so I really need to, to press a lot. So oh, let's adjust the temperature, say medium, it's going to be fine I think. So I always start 10 seconds and see what happens and see if I need anything else. Uh, so yeah, it's not really stuck, but you can see here that the glue is actually uh, getting into the fabric, which means that it's working. Okay, but the patch was such in bad condition that I think I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I can feel it. There are peeled off part left. So I'm gonna do this once or twice more so that it works. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna change side here because there is actually a bad folding in the middle. I can see the glue marks underneath. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. You can see here, the glue marks. And I think this part here is not stuck enough. I let it cool for a bit. I think I'm gonna just check. Oh no, 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 it's cool. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I think it's fine. Okay, let's see the results. Careful because it's kind of hot. Well, okay, it's a bit better. It's not perfect here, but here it's completely stuck on the shirt. Well, the patch is kind of, I think it's 15 years old, so. Obviously you can't 
perform a miracle. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to try it again in order to make it perfect and I'll show you the final result as you can see here. It's still still peeling off. All right. There you go. So here, you see, it's perfectly fixed. So it really needed extra work because this one was really, really in a bad condition. You see, the white marks here already were here. It's not mine. As you can see, um, it's a cool tip because sometimes you find shirts that are cheap because they're in a bad condition and knowing how to fix them is a great way to, well, find cool shirts for cheap, repair them and then use it, enjoy it as if they were new. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was my first video in English basically, so uh, it was kind of hard. So go easy on me guys. Um, I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, after that, sorry. But don't forget to let this cool uh, before you well, wear it or stock it or whatever. Uh, put it on a hanger and wait at least two days so that the glue so that the glue actually dries that's it for me guys for today i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel to click on the bell notification button and i'll see you next time for another video bye